want to get into mapping but you're way too lazy to actually do some research on your own, this video is just for you. We're going to go through three points. One, what programs do you need? Two, starting out on mapping. And three, how to actually manage your stuff. Pretty much just edit your videos. That's pretty much it. So, sit back, do not relax, and keep on watching if you want to know how to map. But trust me, you do not want to know how to map. First point, what program? Now, there are a lot of options here, and we'll need three of these programs that I'm going to list. One, for making maps, making word slides, and pretty much just doing the main work. The second one, for script writing, and the third one, for video editing. All of these will be needed for, you guessed it, making a mapping video, you absolute lobotomite. And there are two programs you can use for mapping. Well, technically three, but the third one is only if you're a retard. The first one that you can use, being the most rational one, is Paint.net. Why? It's free, really, really easy to use, and I, and I actually used it, meaning that I can get you through it much easier. The second one, which is a bit ras less rational, is Photoshop. Why is it less rational, you ask? Well, easy. One, it is not free, you can get it for free, but there's always that little issue that there will, it will have a virus in it. And yes, I know it isn't that hard to get a virus free version of it, but there's always that little chance that yes, there's a virus, you retard. So again, I wouldn't recommend Photoshop unless you're going to do it in a full on professional manner, or if you are a text mapper, because actually using text can be beneficial in Photoshop mapping because using text is just simply easier there but i'm not going to showcase yet to do it with photoshop because i'm not a text mapper nor really a fan of it nor want anything like that so like i said if you don't want to do text mapping which no you do not want to do text mapping okay trust me do not use photoshop it will just get you in a hustle and again pay.net is miles easier to learn so pay.net it is but wait you said three options, so what's the third one? Is it some sort of secret thing that mappers actually hide so that they can produce a lot better mapping content from the others? No, it's just MS Paint, and you don't want to use MS Paint, trust me. So we're actually here, getting Paint.net. Now we should get Paint.net, well, I'm going to leave it in the description. So you can actually click on it because it's a bit misleading and I'll tell you why. So we look up paint.net. There's paint.net. And yes, there are a lot, lot more other options and that's why I said it's confusing. So just click on the first one or click on the description. Again, in the description, I'm going to tell this to you whether you should or not go and check out the description. In this case, you definitely should. So you definitely know where to go. But anyways, now we're on the side. Where do I click on this? Because there's everything but get it. I'll get it now. Free download. Click on it. And you do not click on this one because as you can see, you need to pay for it. And it's pretty much the exact same thing as far as I'm aware of it. So do not click on this one. Click on this one. It is actually free. You click on that one. And now you're on free download. You simply click on it. And there you go. I'm not going to download it. You have to download it. But you, since it's a zip file, you should also get WinRAR if you don't already have it. How to write it down? W-I-N-R-A-R. You retard. That's how, you do, that's how you write it down. But that is not it. Because I'm actually using a plugin for Paint.net to make it miles better and more suitable for mapping. What is a plugin that makes it more suitable for mapping? Let me show you. It's this really easy to find and blah blah blah. It's in the description. Go and check it out. It is known as Grid Warp for Paint.net. It's a plugin. Again, I have it in the description, so don't search it up yourself. Just simply go down to the description. Anyways, click on it, or again, go to the fucking description, and it will take you to this website. And it immediately says where to download it. My plugin said you download it from here. And you just look like X there. You get PowerShop plugin, either X or Zip. I mean, both of them are Zips, so this is the more the more suitable one because it's a manual install. 
This one will just simply install it for you. This one takes more hustle. So again, choose that one unless you're retarded. After you got all of that, oh, I actually have to download it. So after you got all of that, aka grid warp and paint.net, what you need to do is first actually run paint.net so it can recognize it in your PC. And then once you're done with running paint.net, closed it and pretty much done everything, just simply go back and open up grid warp, double click on it. Well, obviously you first unzip the file and then double click on it. And then you will have your very own pain.net file. Amazing, isn't it? Okay, so now you should be here. Yes, I already have a preset of where these things are, but you can always configure that yourself. For example, the colors are down here at this corner. So I just simply brought it up here. That's pretty much it and cancel the other one. So since we're here, I'm just simply going to uh, give you a quick rundown on how to use it. These are your tools that you can use, right? There is a paintbrush. You can paint whatever you want to here. There's your little pencil. It's pretty much paintbrush, but softer. Uh, in order so you can fill in things more efficiently, you need to enable whatever the fuck Elf Shemitash is in English. <clears throat> Smoothen. You need to disable it until it's something like this. Same with this. Let's say this is a lake of some sort, you just simply want to color it, and there you go. Because if you wouldn't have this enabled, yeah, it makes that for an effect. Not the best, and for mapping, that's not good. Because again, when we not enable it, and we leave it undisabled, it's smooth. We're going to use this later on. For now, knowing this is enough. The third program we're going to use is going to be for video editing because obviously need something to edit it for do not use windows movie maker it is shit i know for mapping nostalgia is pretty good i use it for my very first video but i think we all see how that turned out so you're not going to use that you're going to use something else and i know exactly what vegas pro 14 well why 14 because i have it so why shouldn't you have it so let's continue. I myself accept to be a criminal and I didn't pay for it. So I'm going to show you how to get it without paying for it. With this really easy thing. Look at this. Press Pro 14. And, and there you go. That's the video. I'm going to link that down in the description. Okay. Do not search it up yourself because you might run into a virus. This is the one that I downloaded. Yes, it is in Hungary and just ignore that and click on the link. It You can select the language yourself. Yes, you need WinRAR for it. So again, in the description, check the description if you don't want to get a fucking virus and download this one. First, we'll have to actually download it and then there will be a second file. And if you follow this through, it will actually guide you through how to do it. Yes, it is in Hungarian, but you can make how yours you can make it out yourself. After you done all of that, you should get this. Yes, this is episode ten in a very rigid formation situation, but just ignore that. If you get something like this, which will, you will use to edit your videos from. So let's get to the next one. The next program that we'll need to use in order to map. You know what the program is? Grammarly, and that will be for script writing. It's really easy to download. I'm going to, again, link it down in the description. Check it out, please. But, just simply type in Grammarly, so you don't even need to check it out. And there you go. Uh, you can use it on your browser. However, I would recommend actually downloading it. Yes, I pretty much have every single script and everything that I have here. So... For example, here's the script. I, mean, I can just simply show it to you. Yes, it's a browser version and I have it downloaded. Grammarly is good for English writing, but only for English, meaning that if you're a Hungarian like myself, or you're a neighboring Croat, or maybe a Serbian, or maybe a Romanian, I'm not sure, but it will not work. Okay? It, it is for English, which is something that I don't really like, but it, it is for English and nothing else really. Uh, I think there are other languages that it supports, even though I'm not sure of that. Like some major languages, maybe French, maybe German, maybe Spanish. Again, I'm not sure of that. I didn't check it out and I'm not going to say bullshit. I just simply don't know. Check it out yourself. 
for all I know, it's good for English. And again, you should map in English because it's the most wide language in the entire world. It's the widest language in the entire world. We have Paint.net for you to actually create a map. We have Grammarly for your script writing. And we we have Grammarly for your script writing. And we have Logos Pro for editing and actually making mapping videos. So, what's next? Actually getting a map and starting off mapping. The very best way, in my opinion, to get in is simply going to maps. Yes, I'm using Bing Maps. You can show me for that, but for a quick demonstration, it is enough. And hey, you can just simply go to Google and then do it. So, what if you wanted to make a map? Well, it's quite easy actually. You take a screenshot of the map. How do you do that? Uh, there's a little button called print screen on your keyboard. You press it and pretty much you take a screenshot of your screen. That It is literally that easy. So I already uh, went out and done it. And this is an already prefix one. There you go. And it's pasted in. And wow, you actually done something retard. So you simply paste it in the middle and we're going to create it immediately. So the sound file of the upcoming video that we're seeing right now has been corrupted. Nice. So we'll have to do a little dub over it. Don't worry, I will simply get to the points. Number one, you need to create another layer that is on top of the already existing image of the map. And on that layer, you need to overdraw it, preferably with dark green, to make land out of it. That is one. I'm just... So we're going to show how to do it. If you wanna, if you want people to look at the map, just simply select uh, the properties of the selected layer and. There's a little slider that you're going to see that I'm showing. Yeah, you simply grab that and put it all the way down to about 200. After that, you will need to get a promise map of Europe. Copy paste that, uh, paste it over your map. So, you know, you can actually see it. and overdraw it so you can get borders. If you want to make the borders not completely invisible but also not completely visible, what you can do actually is pretty much do the exact same thing as we did to uh, bring the map up select the layer of the border go to properties and again that little slider that shows its transparency slide it down to about 200 as well even though i'm not sure uh, a lot of people do it differently so slide it down until it fits your perspective of how the map should look like after that you'll need to select the borders go down to the layer and delete that little line so it will actually separate the land meaning that the borders will be on a different layer meanwhile it will actually affect the main map that you're using also you can use shadowing on the little landmass that you have it's pretty easy you just simply copy it create a layer put it down below and then uh, use the outline object that is in grid warp and you will be good to go. Creating control balls is easy. The only thing you need is a format for the control ball, which is quite easy to make. Uh, why format, you might ask? Because, yeah, good luck trying to draw each and every control ball completely separately with completely separate shadowing and stuff. I prefer you to use hand-drawn controllables because they are miles better and stuff. So yeah, do that. And then just simply the shadowing. Now you will need a text box. 
Now I'm just simply slash mine from my a hole. Text boxes need to be simplistic, need to be transparent, so it doesn't really stand out, but you know what it is, etc. etc. Script writing is pretty easy for the most part. I'm going to give you two tips. One tip, do not make it too long so people do not do not have to read the Bible. And the second one is do not make it too short, aka your entire plot or dialogues shouldn't consist of just nation saying, How are you today? I'm fine, lol. Yeah, don't do that. After you're done with all of those things, just simply open your video editor. It should be Nogas Pro 14. Drag them in. Uh, try to read it out in your own mind of how long the frame you're going to put in will be. For example, always read the text and the dialogue out loudly. Count the seconds of how long does it take for you to read it and um, enlarge it if uh, you need more time to read it or maybe give it a few more extra seconds for the people to both read it and actually think about it in their mind so they can fully comprehend what you have said in the dialogue. And yes, that's pretty much it. You now know how to map. You have all the programs for it, to how to do it. And I've given you some tips, especially in script writing. I really hope this helped. I really hope that people will actually recognize this. Because I put so fucking much effort in it. So yeah, hopefully this will have an effect on the mapping community in a very positive note. I've always been a man of morals. Uh, I always try to have some sort of line of morality the people will follow so not all mapping is shit because i don't i'm not really that big of a fan of postmodernism and i think that things matter and quality mapping videos should matter both quality and quantity but again focus on quality just as you do with quantity and yeah just simply follow these incorporate them in your channel and hey Welcome to the mapping community. We are cancerous, orally nationalistic or overly leftist. We are pretty much on the on every fucking extreme. And welcome.